Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. And today we're talking about short game. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite drills to help you with your chipping and pitching around the green. So thank you for joining me here once again at the Forest of Arden. As you can see, we're just short of this par four 16th here, and we're talking about short game. Now this week, it's the second major of the year. It is the US Open. And because of that, what I'm doing this week is I have done my best drills for the driver, for the irons, and then this video is my best drills for the short game. Now, what I've tried to do with these videos is I've tried to look at drills which I think can help or be applicable to everybody out there. So it's not gonna be my drills to fix a slice or a push or a hook because that's not going to be specific to everyone. However, I think this is a drill which every golfer can do because it's just going to help you with your short shots around the green. So the shot I'm faced with here is probably some 30 yards, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, I'm on a fairly tight fairway lie, but this little exercise, this little drill station, you could use from much closer to the green. You could potentially even use this from a little bit further away. And what I've effectively done here is I've got two things which I'm really monitoring. The strike board on the floor, which is the fat plate, which I use all the time in my coaching, that's really there to help me work on the contact. The alignment stick here, which is the Alignment Pro, this is helping me work on the direction that my club is moving through both the backswing and the downswing. So what we're really looking at here is really starting to get that strike much, much more consistent, which is definitely gonna help you with the direction and the distance. All too often from this distance, we see the distance being the reason that the golfer is further from the hole. It's either too short or it's too long. Very often that can be strike related. So using something like this fat plate is really gonna help us improve our strike. The second little part to this is this alignment pro, and this is helping us with the direction of our swing. So if I were to sort of demonstrate what I tend to see quite commonly, we'll get golfers set up, but I will see golfers suck the club and the arms inside too quickly in the backswing. What this tends to mean is it tends to mean that the golfer's swing direction is often too much out to the right of the target. When the swing direction is too much out to the right, we often find our low point is too early, it's before the ball. We get lots of contacts where the club hits the ground before the ball. We often get fat shots because of that. We get thin shots when the golfer tries to react. And in order to make that ball go towards the target from this kind of sucked in takeaway position, we often have to get this kind of rolled release this way where the toe works excessively over the heel. And, you know, if we were to drop 100 balls down, then we might be able to get a couple that are close, but it's never going to be the most consistent way. So a lot of the things that we want to do from this distance are really there to give us consistency and accuracy as opposed to maybe power or speed, which we maybe need for the, for the long game. So what I would very simply do is set yourself up with something like this fat plate, which is guaranteeing my strike or allowing me to focus on my strike. And then you can see where I've placed this alignment pro relative to my golf club. It's about at the same angle as my golf club, but it's slightly inside from the heel line. So what that does, it allows me to move the club freely into the back swing where I've got a reference point but I'm not really conscious of kind of making contact with it on the way down. So I would just stand here, make a couple of little rehearsals, okay? And I might even take the golf ball away for a couple and just start to see if I can move that golf club through missing the alignment stick, starting to make contact with the ground and starting to see if I can get a feel for what that's like. It will feel very different if you're the golfer who sucks the club inside and then you can hear I'm more likely to make contact with that board. That technique is going to be almost, almost impossible from a slightly longer grass, from the slightly semi rough, the rough, because we're gonna get a lot more of that grass between the club and the ball. It's going to be much more difficult for you to predict the flight, the distance, the spin, and those are really the things that we're looking to control from this situation. So let's go ahead and see if I can hit this shot. I reckon it's probably some, yeah, I reckon I've probably got to carry it 30. It's going to roll out a little bit. I'm not going to get much spin on this because there's a bit of moisture on the ball and in the, in the air. But let's see if I can get this hopefully close enough for a, a fairly short tapping. Okay, and I think, well, it's just rolled a couple of feet past. But the technique was pretty good. I got the ball pretty much where I wanted to. The strike was good. There was no divot. I moved the club nicely up and down on my plane. The station that I'd set here gave me some fantastic feedback. Uh, and that's really what we're trying to do in practice is get some feedback for your practice that's going to help you improve no end. So something like this is going to help with your strike. It's going to help with your direction. And it's going to mean that you're more consistent when you're chipping and pitching from around the green. Alignment stick, a fat plate is all you need and you can work on your pitching. 
Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully there's something in there you can take to your next practice session. Usual stuff is always is down below. There's a comments box down there, there's a like button, and over here there is a button which will allow you to be a free subscriber of my channel. I'd love to have you along for the journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again.